Hello there, Bruce here in the shop today. I want to share with you an installation I'm just finishing up here on a Kato U-boat using this Tsunami GN1000 uh, decoder with the um, GE sound set in it. The issue with this locomotive is there are large open fan grills back here and here and none. the top wasn't open but uh, how to get the sound out of this um, required a little bit of uh, a little bit of thought and a little bit of work to get there. First thing I did was I installed an LED to um, light up the the rear uh, lights and uh, hooked it up with blue and yellow wires coming out here. Then I mounted a speaker, a 20 by 40 millimeter speaker. Had to sand the sides of it down just a touch to get it to fit right in here. And it's kind of difficult to see because it's all black, but this is a piece of black plastic, and this is a piece of black plastic that seal that speaker off in this area right along here right down here okay now what that does is it fixes it so that the negative pressure coming off the back side of the speaker has to come out through the grills on either side and the positive pressure goes down through the truck and out through the truck over here this distance is not around here is not the four inches that I discussed in my column in August part of the advantage or part of what makes it work is the fact that there's all this stuff in the way that slows down the sound so it isn't a, a free and easy path to get out. One other thing I did was I installed a five pin plug here with polar polarity indicated by white dots so that uh, I can separate the shell completely from the locomotive to work on things. How I wired it was the positive uh, blue lead was the center pin then the next two pins out were the speaker and the last two pins were the front and rear light. So that way if the plug is plugged in backwards against the polarity dots, if it's, but if it's plugged in backwards all that happens is that the front and the rear light get reversed and uh, everything still works just fine. Before we plug this in and let you listen to it I wanted to show you one situation about this type of installation and that is the spacing between the speaker and the top of the gear tower. You need enough room in there for the gear tower to be able to pivot as the locomotive goes up and down the track, not hit the speaker. I know before I started being wary of this, uh, several times I assembled uh, decoders and then I couldn't get the uh, shell on or uh, the truck wouldn't pivot freely and so it was a problem going down the track. How I do this, set this up, when I was in the process of designing this installation, I positioned the speaker roughly where I thought it would go. I took my calipers and brought them down until I had a dimension here that is uh, equal to the depth of the to the bottom of the speaker in the in the shell here. And then I take that dimension and I stand it up where the shell rests on the frame, and I can see that I have plenty of clearance uh, between the speaker and the gear tower over here. All right. With that out of the way, let's fire this guy up and let you listen to him. I love that startup. Wow. There you hear the engine idling. Um, and let me turn on the bell here and give you a uh, uh, high frequency sound to listen to as well. So you have low frequencies and high frequencies. Now, remember I said that the sound coming out through the bottom here is going to go through here and so that's going to present some obstruction to the sound so actually what we'll hear when it's completely assembled will not be the sound you're hearing now it'll be more like what it'll be when I put my hand underneath it and kind of uh, obstruct that airflow so let's let's listen Notice the level of all of the sounds comes up, making the bell too loud, actually. I'll have to adjust that later. But also the base of the rumble, the diesel rumble, comes up significantly. That's how you get the sound out of this model. 